Hi, I'm Richard, as you probably know by now. Um, I'm a vegan, vegan activist, and um, I decided to make this um, the this YouTube channel because I was inspired by Rebecca, aka Vegan Pixie Warrior. She's um, done loads of videos on trying to um, inspire vegans to become active, and um, this is the result for me decided to do a YouTube channel. So well done Rebecca. <laughs> um, my journey into veganism and becoming a vegan activist became way back in the mid 80s when uh, BSE, um, bad cow disease, um, raised its ugly head. And what the uh, farmers were doing, they were feeding all their cattle. Actually I don't think it was all the cattle, I think it was just the dairy herds. They were feeding the um, dairy herds ground up bones and meat um, to increase the milk yield. And um, of course, when we ate the, um, the cows and drank the milk and that, we had the chance of uh, getting mad cow disease. I think it was called something else. Co I can't remember what it was called, but it was called some other name anyway. But it was related to mad cow disease. And that is why I decided not to um, eat meat anymore and became vegetarian. <coughs> also, I was um, into a fitness regime then. I'd just given up smoking and I was into running and diving and, you know, lifting weights and uh, trying to get myself fit again. So, um, yeah, so um, I was about veggie for about 30 years to about 2015 <clears throat> and then I discovered that I had I had a um, medical and I discovered that um, I had high cholesterol so um, I then went vegan because um, you know giving up all the milk butter cheese eggs and um, I said, to, to, to tell the truth, I was a bit embarrassed to tell people I was vegan. And I used to tell them that I was uh, just plant-based because being a vegan was a bit too extreme, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I was a bit embarrassed there. <clears throat> but I wasn't very strict anyway. Um, when, when people had birthdays, they used to uh, bring cakes and biscuits in to celebrate. And... Uh, I thought, what the hell, it doesn't matter. Just a couple of biscuits, just a bit of cake, won't hurt. And um, <clears throat> this all changed one day when um, a, a work colleague called Lisa, she, um, she was also a vegan, and she asked me, um, was I vegan for the animals? I said, yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking, oh, they're, they're stuck in cages. Um, that's not a bit cruel, isn't it? I was totally unaware of um, what was involved, but um, Lisa told me all about the dairy industry and um, the egg industry, how um, chicks have just been, the male chicks have just been hatched out, are ground up alive, and the um, calves were taken away from their mothers from the dairy cows and um, probably killed straight away or, or raised for veal, and the mothers were... The mothers were um, deemed to be um, unproductive after a few years and uh, sent to the slaughterhouse when they weren't, weren't producing enough milk. <coughs> so, um, yeah, that was, a, that was in the um, early 2018. And um, after that, I was a strict vegan. I wouldn't touch anything that contained milk, eggs, dairy. I wouldn't closely scrutinise in the um, ingredients on all the packages because no way was I going to be contributing to all that sort of stuff. And uh, then in early July 2018, I did my first activism event, which was a cube of truth in um, Truro. And um, I now do as much as I can in the way of activism hoping to um, educate other people in the ways of the um, agriculture, animal agriculture, 
and um, <laughs> can't even say, I can't even say it. But you know what I mean. <clears throat> and hopefully they'll stop paying for all the torture involved in all these industries. Anyway, that's, that's my um, journey to veganism. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.